Okay, Charlie, on the uh, 1500 hour. On the firms, I have uh, New York to Central Hudson, 45. Uh, more, uh, the Rochester to Con Ed, 270. Ontario to Con Ed, 300 with 21 on the water. Fasney to Con Ed, 150 with 8 on the water. 87 from Quebec. And that's a 7 on the water on that. Now on the economy, we have uh, 200. I have a Mohawk to CJM. This is the New York Power Pool Control Center in Schenectady, New York, where 98% of the state's electrical power is controlled. It's here that the power produced by the eight pool members and the demands of nine million customers are kept in delicate balance. Opened in 1969, this four million dollar master dispatch center is responsible for security of the statewide bulk transmission system. In the pool's control room, electronic displays provide real-time information for the three-man dispatcher teams. The 80 by 16 foot animated system diagram board indicates the operating status of 400 transmission lines, 46 generating stations, and 34 substations, 24,000 megawatts of capability anticipating summer peak demands exceeding 19,000 megawatts. Critical analog data is telemetered from member companies and logged on this array of strip chart recorders. Data, both analog and digital, is also telemetered to the control center's duplexed computers, a pair of IBM System 360 Model 50s. One processor performs such critical real-time functions as security analysis, economic dispatch, and load frequency control. Every two seconds, for example, it checks interpool tie flows, system frequencies, company generation totals, circuit breaker status, and generating unit status. Linked to it by a channel-to-channel -channel adapter, the other processor provides automatic backup, but can also handle batch processing work. Because the computer limit checks incoming data, the dispatcher is free to make decisions quickly without having to spend time assimilating and interpreting information. Computer process data can be displayed at any of five consoles, each of which has two color digital TV monitors designed by IBM to display text, diagrams, graphs, and data recording forms. How meaningful the displays are can be seen from this transfer diagram showing all critical interfaces within the state. Dispatchers interact with the computer through the joystick and cursor, and the keyboard with its alphanumeric, adding, and function keys. From this menu, the dispatcher can call up any of the information logged in the computer's 261 million bytes of disk storage. He selects this list of displays, then he chooses this list of power pool displays and zooms into the 230 kilovolt diagram. Then looks for greater detail at the Niagara system. Despite the amount of information on this diagram, color makes it easier to comprehend or to interpret in emergency situations. When limits are exceeded, alarm messages are displayed this way and in the detail which the dispatcher feels he needs. Scheduling, too, is simplified by computer operations. After receiving hydro schedules, load data, and other parameters, the unit commitment program provides an hourly schedule for startup and shutdown of fossil-fueled generating units. An interchange evaluation program reviews the schedule each hour to aid in interchange negotiations. It assesses the effect of proposed transactions on system security, determines the proper price quotations, and evaluates reserve and contingency status. Using a contingency evaluation program, dispatchers can calculate the effects of 300 contingencies on 100 pre-selected transmission lines and see it as clearly as this 345 kV grid in the Con Edison system. Study mode versions of real-time programs have also been provided to analyze limit checking, contingency analysis, and reserve checking functions. 
New York Power Pool programmers produce the Control Center's applications programs. IBM's Federal Systems Division developed a special operating program to support this installation by augmenting Operating System 360 with the Power Resources Operating System. 